Hello everyone, Brian here. In today's video, I'll be explaining what root is and the three different types of root. There tends to be some confusion with newcomers when it comes to understanding root. So my hope in this video is to help better understand root. As I just mentioned, there are three types of root on the Linux system. We have a root user account, the root directory, and the root home directory. First, we'll discuss the root user. So what is the root user? Root is an account on a Linux machine, and it is the most powerful account providing access to all commands and files. The root user can pretty much do whatever they want and access to everything on the computer. They can install software, manipulate system configurations, delete important files, and perform other administrative tasks that ordinary users cannot accomplish. It has so much power, using the root account requires caution because it has the potential to cause irreparable damage if used recklessly. It's like being the captain of a spaceship. You have the keys to everything, but you need to be careful not to crash. One small adjustment can make the whole ship to malfunction. The same holds true for Linux. Thus, it's imperative to deploy root privileges and employ them solely when necessary for system management, maintenance, or troubleshooting. It's often represented by the pound symbol. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how to log in as a root user via Rocky Linux. The two most common ways to log in as root are direct login and switching users within the terminal. I'll be showing you how to log in as root within the initial login screen. To directly log in as root, click on not listed. Then type in root as the username. Finally, type in your root password and hit enter. And we're now logged in as root. And we can confirm this in two ways. Open up your terminal. Within the bracket, on the left-hand side of the at symbol, the username will always be printed here. Another way we can confirm where the root user is typing in the whoami command and hit enter. And here, the command prints out the current user. It printed out root, which means we're logged in as the root user. Now, to log in as a different user within the terminal, we're going to type in su, also known as superuser. Hit space, and then type in the desired username. In my case, I'm going to type in Brian. And now, I'm Brian. And we can confirm this again with using the who am I command, or by simply looking at the bracket here on the left-hand side. Hit enter, and I'm Brian. Now we're logged in as a non-root user and I want to become the root user. In a Rocky, CentOS, or Red Hat distro, the command we would execute to log in as root is su space dash and hit enter. It will prompt you to type in the password. Type in the password, your root password, and then hit enter. And we are now logged in as root. And these are the two most common ways to log in as root. As I mentioned before, logging in as root for day-to-day -day operations can pose security risk as it grants unrestricted access to system files and settings, increasing the likelihood of accidental or malicious changes that could disrupt or compromise the system. So don't use root for your day-to-day -day operations. Next, we have the root directory. This is the very first directory in a Linux system. The root directory is like the starting point or a main folder. Basically, it's the very top of the file system and everything else is organized beneath it. Imagine it as the parent folder for all other folders and files on your computer. When you see a forward slash, as you see here in my visual, this represents the root directory. And it means you're starting from the very top of the Linux system. So let me show you how to get there on the terminal. All right, we're back at the terminal, but this time we're logged in as an ordinary user, Brian. So let's run PWD to show our current location. And I should be, yep, in the Brian directory. Now, I wanna to get to the root directory and we get there by simply typing in cd space forward slash hit enter. And let's run PWD again. And as you can see, we're in the root directory the very top of the Linux system. So 
Regardless of your current location in the file system, running the cd forward slash command will always take you to the root directory, no matter what. So let me show you here. If we type in ls, let's go to cd boot, ls again, let's go to loader, ls, entries. Now, this user should not have access to entries. So if we were to type in entries, and enter, yep, permission denied. That's okay. Now, I just want to show you the uh, print working directory. Okay, we're within the loader directory. Now, if I were to type in cd forward slash and hit enter and hit pwd, we're now in the root directory. So what I want you to get out of this section of the video is root directory is the main base of the Linux file system. And one can easily get there by using the cd you know, uh, forward slash command no matter where they're located in the system. Finally, we have our last root type, root home directory. The root has a directory located in forward slash root, which is called root home directory, or we can just call it root home. It's a personal space for the root user. Each user on a Linux machine has their own directory to store their files and folders. However, the root user has access to all directories, files, and folders belonging to the regular users whereas regular users cannot access the root home directory at all. Let me give you a quick presentation. Okay, in this section of the video, I'm logged in as an ordinary user, but I want to log in as the root user. So let's type in su space dash, type in your password. Once you're logged in as the root user, let's go to the root directory. And type in cd space forward slash, hit enter. And if you just want to confirm that you're in the root directory, just hit pwd. And as you can see, we are in the root directory. Now list the contents of this directory. And we want to go into the root home directory. Moving forward, I'm just going to refer to this as root home. So we're going to go into root home by typing cd root, hit enter, and we can confirm that we're in it by hitting pwd. Now we're in root home. So this is pretty much the root user's private room. The root user can store important settings and files in this directory, just like how you can keep your toys or favorite things in your own room. Same concept applies here. By default, only the root user can access this special folder. Now, I'm going to log in as Brian by logging out of root. And here, we're back at Brian. Now, I should be back in the Brian directory here. If I were to hit PWD, yep, this confirms I'm in the Brian directory. So let's just go back to the root home. Not the root home, the root directory. List the contents of root directory. And now we're going to root home. And a message popped up saying, I don't, well, permission denied. I don't have access to it. Now, root users have the capability to modify access to the root home directory for ordinary users like Brian here. But beware, this can potentially lead to security vulnerabilities. So my advice to you is only grant permissions to ordinary users when they need to perform their specific tasks and no more. And that will conclude for today's video. Feel free to leave a feedback, questions, or concerns in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.